Hello everyone. Welcome to teaching my wife artificial intelligence. And now we are at lecture seven, where we are going to learn how to fine tune an LLM. In last lecture, we submitted a, a Kaggle competition entry in which we did sentiment analysis with an existing LLM. So that LLM here was Distilbert. We are going to build how to fine tuning. Fine tuning mm -hmm. an LLM means taking an existing functionality and adding a complicated mm -hmm. one on top of it. So mm -hmm. example mm -hmm. is let's say Gemini. Gemini is mm -hmm. a general purpose model. Most people will mm -hmm. get a great use out of it. But let's say mm -hmm. we wanted to use Gemini for a PhD institute for researchers. Now, mm -hmm. fine tuning means taking this as a base model and adding mm -hmm. some extra knowledge to it specific to that uh, field. So in this case, it mm -hmm. is the Bloom LLM, which was do done mm -hmm. with uh, for science. They took science related data and they, they created this science LLM. Fine tuning mm -hmm. is taking a general model and making it mm -hmm. more accurate to a specific use case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So uh, if you want to make something domain specific, this is how we do it. Yes. So let's see the code of fine tuning. We start mm -hmm. with a few libraries, which are essential transformers, mm -hmm. just say we download ready-made models, uh, data sets, just say uh, we download data set. In this case, mm -hmm. we are fine tuning on a single novel, Pride and mm -hmm. Prejudice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing this on Colab. I am using a model called as GPT-2. Mm -hmm. And this GPT-2 is a model available on Hugging Face. Hugging Face. You specify, you give a path. So in Hugging Face, there is this use this model uh, button. And if you can see it uh, there, you can immediately see a uh, simplest way to start using this model. Everyone has a tokenizer, mm -hmm. which they convert word to a numerical ID mm -hmm. and model the mm -hmm. model. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, if we see, this is a very popular model, 12 million uh, downloads in last month. If we check- And where do you copy the path? You copy the path and you you see this is where it shows this this is that path you paste it here in the from pre-trained and this is where you copy you use the same path in the code yes use the same path in the code so here this is the code this is the path and it will work now one thing here we are fine-tuning on a model because the this model is small so when i start fine tuning mm -hmm. it will be updating only 137 million parameter if i was okay. fine tuning on a billion parameter the time will be mm -hmm. even huge so we mm -hmm. will learn how to fine tune and when we will fine tune mm -hmm. a bigger model so we will mm -hmm. ha have to wait longer right mm -hmm. so abhi ke liye, let's see the small one So fine tuning, we have this model downloading. Uh, it's with tokenizer and it's a model we download. Okay. So mm -hmm. this Pride and Prejudice is a file we uh, that novel we download from this website Gutenberg. Gutenberg. Okay. It makes all the open source books available in one place, named after the revolution, printing press revolution which led to the knowledge evolution. Okay, one of the... All book nerds. Know yes, that. one yeah. of the greatest moments in history. <laughs> okay, so we download that file and then we split it into its uh, uh, sentences. Okay, so what happens is this model only learns to predict the next word. That's it. You take four, okay. five, seven words and it, we ask it to predict the next word. If the model predicts mm -hmm. it correctly, we add that word to the old word and then we ask it, you know what, predict again. Mm -hmm. Then again, mm -hmm. next word prediction. Aise karke, all the predictions are generated one word at a time. So this mm -hmm. reading the file into a sentence mm -hmm. of 128 words and uh, creating that, you know, data set is what this part is doing. We don't need to worry about this code because this is a, you know, non-technical thing. We can ask GPT to generate this. Key important mm -hmm. thing is knowing the model, knowing the data mm -hmm. set, and then fine tuning. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's jump to directly fine tuning. Mm -hmm. 
So I have written a function, mm -hmm. fine tune, in mm -hmm. which the fine tuning code I'm giving. Fine tuning mm -hmm. has this feature in this transformer library, which mm -hmm. has this, you know what, these are the arguments mm -hmm. you specify mm -hmm. to modify a few properties. For example, mm -hmm. where do you want to save the model? Where do you want to save its mm -hmm. output? Because the trained model mm -hmm. is a file. And if we, mm -hmm. you know, use that file directly, we won't need to train it again. So specifying mm -hmm. output directory, how many times do we go through the data? If we say five, this data is read five times to train the model. If it is 5,000, the model will see this data 5,000 times. Possibly mm -hmm. forgetting the older things also. So stalker level mode. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. it is zero, it is, you know, completely uh, unaware about this thing exists. Clueless. 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 Okay. Generally five to 10 is a good number. Uh, that number mm -hmm. might uh, change. And then essential things is learning rate. The, the algorithm we use to minimize the error, it's gradient descent and its learning rate mm -hmm. is its parameter. And the algorithm which updates the weight is optimizer. Okay. So transformer, say model download kia. Then training argument, say we specified a few things. And this trainer trains the model. We need to specify what is the model. We need to specify what are the arguments and a few things key, what's the data set and some data processing function. Mm -hmm. Okay. When that is done, we call trainer.train. This is hugging face, mm -hmm. how it works. Hugging okay. face, the most popular library, all open source models are here. That's why as long as we learn this, we know mm -hmm. how to train any LLM. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so done. Now it is going to go to this directory and, and save. So then this is training. Okay, I executed mm -hmm. this and it, it, it took around five minutes to train. Pride and okay. Prejudice entire novel was read. Text was split. Mm -hmm. Next word prediction at a time. Mein. It in five minutes, it trained 137 million parameters. This is like wiki from small world. Yeah. You should just do this. <laughs> yes, yes. So it did this and we have a fine-tuned model. Okay. And to this model, I have given a few sentences. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be looking must for be a looking wife. For a wife. <laughs> <laughs> then Mr. Darcy was brooding, handsome, tall, sensitive, I don't know what all. So this model should predict the next word. He was word. prideful. Okay. <laughs> Elizabeth Bennett thought that blah, 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 blah. Okay. So we'll give this model, we'll ask it to generate next word at a time and we will see what the output comes. Okay. Keep in mind the model being a, a smaller model, its prediction accuracy is not going to be great. If the model is big, it learns it is, better. Okay. It is a truth universally acknowledged that the single man position of good fortune, Mr. Darcy was the most valuable <laughs> man on earth. Okay. I'm sure it, he was. Replied Elizabeth. I'm certain he was the most desirable man to his family. Um, Oh, it's good enough. It's like, good. Like, it is not exactly what we want, but it is like... It's like how you fake it. You have a novel, but you have a little bit. No, 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 no. It's not fake. Oh, he said it. That's what Red said. It was... Yeah, I mean, the output is not exactly what we want. It is one-on-one, but it is close enough that so this it has learned like something. It, it has learned yeah. something. Yeah, something. If yeah. if we you know increase the number of epochs, it will learn more. Or if we increase the number of parameters, model core complex kardo, to also it will learn more. Okay. Mm -hmm. So fine tuning happened in five minutes using this code. Mm -hmm. We use transformers library, we use trans training mm -hmm. arguments, we use transformer.trainer, mm -hmm. and we use the mm -hmm. uh, text file. Mm -hmm. Okay. So data was read, model was fine-tuned. Mm -hmm. Only 100 million parameter. Here, if instead of GPT-2, if I do uh, some model, which is Llama 3 here, it mm -hmm. will start training it on that model. 
So this was the fine tuning example. We used a small model and we used a simple this text file. So homework is take a bigger model. So maybe Harry Potter seven books. There is mm -hmm. a data set for it and take mm -hmm. a uh, sorry, take a bigger data set, Harry Potter seven books and a bigger size models mm -hmm. and train it on Harry mm -hmm. Potter so that it, it is much more accurate at predicting the mm -hmm. stuff from. OK, so that mm -hmm. is the homework. And then you will know okay. how, how much time it takes to do the fine tuning and blah, blah. OK. So on another note, we are starting a new playlist where it's going to be bite sized research papers in AI. So in eight minutes, we are going to go through essential research papers you should know to know what all is happening in the field of AI. So uh, stay tuned for that research playlist as well. Um, Ajinkya, why eight minutes? There is a very nerdy reason <laughs> behind that. <laughs> One byte is eight bits. So bite-sized research paper reading, that's why eight minutes. That's the nerdy reason. <laughs> For for and having this. Uh, it will it will uh, uh, like we're trying to simplify it so that anyone can understand uh, what is going on in AI. Research. Yes. So in the deep dives, deep dives go too deep. But you know, in eight minutes, it's like everything essential we will will quickly learn, and that's what this playlist mm -hmm. aims to be. So see okay. you there in the new playlist as well. Uh, bye bye. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. bye, -bye.